In this short video, we're going to look at the trace bitmap tool. Now, the trace bitmap tool allows us to create vector boundaries automatically around colored or black and white readings of an image. So to get started, let's start with an example. So we're going to import a bitmap. So here we're going to import this cranium to open that up. And we can see that they're in the 2D view and the 3D view. Okay, now when you import bitmaps, they're automatically applied to a bitmap layer and you can hide the visibility of that layer by undrawing that or you could click that on. Alternatively, you can also switch off the visibility of your bitmaps directly from the view toolbar in your 2D and your 3D view. So if you click on that, it will hide it in the 3D view, click it back on, turns it on. And in the 2D view, you can toggle the visibility there also. Okay then, so in order to trace your bitmap, you need to select it to begin with, and then you're going to come over to your design tab and under create vectors, we've got this option here to trace a bitmap. And when you click on that, that will open up the trace bitmap tool. And then we have lots of options within the form for us to control the output of what our trace part would look like. So starting at the top, we've got the type of tracing to use where we have the options of color or black and white. Now, as we are working with a colored image, we're going to use the color option, which will give us access to a palette where we can choose which colors we want to trace. We also have black and white, which is perfect for black and white images. However, if you are using a color image, you can switch to black and white mode, whereby the software will just convert this into a black and white image. And we'll look at this again in a second. So we're going to start by looking at the color options. Now, color images are automatically reduced to 16 colors. And we've got this slider here, and this allows us to show how many number of colors will be visible. And you can see how it's doing that there. So you can have it set to two colors, or we could set it to its maximum of 16 colors. And then once those colors are in place, you can then select them from within the palette here, or you can actually click on them in the 2D view to select the colors that you want to trace. So for example, let's say we wanted to pull out all of the yellow colors. You'll see that those yellow colors in our 2D view have actually changed to red. And the reason for that is we've got this trace color option, which is selected as red and we can change this palette if we wanted to we could change it to blue and all this is is just a visual indicator of the area that we're going to be tracing okay so with all of those yellows selected you could go ahead and press preview and then it will create your vectors and you can see them here in our 2d view they're also in our 3d view to see this a little better what we could do is just temporarily toggle off the bitmap in our 3D view so we can see what's happened there. Now, if you wanted to add more colors to your trace, you can do by simply selecting from the palette or you could select directly from the actual 2D view. So you can click here to apply all the reds. And then again, we can preview that to see what that looks like. You can start to see that there's been vectors created based on uh, our colored selection that we've got here. And again, we could introduce the green, we could look at this purple as well and then preview that. And you can see what that looks like. If I wanted to introduce the black, I could click on that and then go ahead and press preview. And you're starting to see that uh, we're kind of building this traced shape up. If you want to remove a color, simply go into your palette and just uncheck the color that you don't want in. And then you can preview your parts again and it will update. So let's just switch the black color back on there. And you'll see over here at the bottom, we've got this option here to group our vectors. So when we go ahead and preview what we've got here, and then once you're happy with your preview and you go ahead and press apply, what it does is it's applied that. And then when you come out of the form, you can see now that your vectors are actually all grouped together. And to ungroup them, you just simply ungroup them like so, and then you've got a set of individual vectors. Okay then, right then, so I'm just going to just hide our bitmap for now. And we're just going to take all of those vectors and we're just going to go ahead and delete them. I'm gonna switch our bitmap back on. I'm gonna select it. And we're gonna go back into our trace bitmap tool. Now, if you wanted to be more specific about 
precise areas that you want to trace from your image you can do by simply creating a selection box around the area that you wish to trace so for example if I wanted to come over here and zoom in to this heart I could look at drawing a box so I'm just going to use my left mouse button and just drag a box out like so and when I let go you can see it's created this box and then whatever colors I apply here will only apply to anything within this selection here so for example if I select all the red shades here and then go ahead and press preview you can see that it's created these vectors uh, based on the red colors that are within this selection box and I can see the result of that there which is handy if you wanted to be very specific about which areas you wanted to trace and if you zoom out what you can do if you wanted to trace something else instead you could select the new area and then again go ahead and press preview and you'll see it will just update that and if I wanted to keep that then I could press apply like so and then let's say this time I want this side I could go and select this rose over here, press preview, see that's updated, press apply to totally confirm that. Okay, so just press F6 just to put that view back into the center there. Right then, so what we're going to do is just going to click out and I'm just going to press Ctrl Z and Ctrl Z again so we've got no vectors created. I'm going to look at how we can use the black and white option. So I'm going to switch that to black and white. So again, we can adjust the number of colors here and you'll see it will just increase how much black and white it shows. So it just gives you more control again over what you want to trace. So for example, if I wanted to trace something like this, I could just stop that there and then I could go ahead and press preview and then again, see the result of that. And if we just zoom in over here, we could take a look at what's going on here. So you can see we've got lots of little random vectors that have been created here. And this is what we call noise, okay? And so over in the form, we've got this option to adjust the noise filter. And this slider allows us to control uh, the minimum size of pixels that are traced. And so if we wanted to really reduce the amount of noise, we could just put that to 10 pixels and we could go ahead and press preview. And you'll see it actually uh, eliminates a lot of those there that we've got. And so it just makes it a, a lot better for us to work with. And then we also have another option here to adjust the fit. Okay, so we've got a loose fit or a tight fit. And this corner fit control just allows us to determine how accurately the vectors are fitted against the corners in our image. So at the moment it's currently on loose. So if we up the slider to tight and then press preview, you'll see we have much sharper corners uh, within our trace. And this really is just dependent on how you want this to look. So in this example, I think the loose type looks better. It looks more smoother. Okay, and then so once you are happy with your trace, you can simply go ahead, press apply, close out, and then continue to work with your vectors, perhaps apply a toolpath to it, whatever the application is. So that's how you use the trace bitmap tool. Thank you for watching.